Today morning while trying to install Windows 7 operating system in my laptop, I have found this blue screen error and its error code is 0x00000085. This is my latest HP 245G5 laptop and it does not allow me to install Windows 7 operating system in E. I have tried lots of options and finally got this solution for this error. Hey guys, this is Abhishek Gupta and welcome back to my channel Technical Tech. In this video, I am going to show you how to fix this blue screen error and install Windows 7 operating system in your laptop. Before starting this tutorial, I would like to request you if you have not yet subscribed to my channel, please hit the red subscribe button at the below of my video. Let me first explain you why you are getting this blue screen error. This blue screen error usually occurs whenever your BIOS version is out of date and not allowing you to install the previous version of operating systems which is Windows 7 or Windows 8 in your laptop. Nowadays, all the laptops are coming with the latest 6th generation Intel processors and it forcing you to install Windows 10 operating system on it. So, the simple solution for this is to update the BIOS version of your laptop. Now the question is how to update BIOS if your operating system is not booting. Guys there are two different ways to update BIOS. First make your pen drive bootable for the BIOS or install Windows 10 operating system in your laptop and try to install the BIOS manually. So we are going to follow the second step as it is simple and easy. So guys this is my Windows 10 bootable pen drive and I am going to install a Windows 10 operating system in my laptop. So as here you can see Windows 10 is successfully installed in my laptop. Now it's time to update the BIOS. This is my pen drive in which I have the BIOS update. So now I am going to copy the BIOS update from the pen drive to my desktop. For installing BIOS. Double click the setup and click on run anyway. Click on next. Before continuing this video, let me show you my current BIOS version. As here you can see it is F21. My current BIOS version is F21. Now click on next. Next. Make sure your PC adapter is connected to your laptop. Next. Once it finished, it will restart your system at several times. In this time, please don't touch your power button and don't remove the power adapter from your laptop or else your BIOS may get crashed. Once your BIOS updates successfully, it will restart your system. As here you can see my BIOS is successfully updated and my current BIOS version is F22. Now turn off your laptop and try to install Windows 7. As here you can see this is my Windows 7 bootable media and I am going to insert it on my laptop's DVD drive and follow the installation process. Click on next and 
install now accept the license agreement and select custom advance so guys bingo as here you can see now i am easily able to access my drive now from here delete all the available drives you are able to see or if you have any important data then keep it as it is and once i click on next my installation process begins so guys hope you have enjoyed this video if you find this video helpful please hit the like button and do subscribe to my channel for more update this is abhishek gupta signing out for the day hope to see you soon in my next video till then take care and bye bye